got uh, Owen, who is a uh, former Conquest player. So myself, Travis, Owen, uh, a couple of our friends that are here today. We are all Conquest veterans. Really excited to be playing this game because, of course, uh, Brad Andre is the lead designer of Conquest. is also now the lead designer of L5R. On the right side of the screen, right. we have Eugene, who is a, I think he's a um, old L5R player. Uh, he recently connected with the FFG LCG community, and we're excited to see some gameplay between Crab and Scorpion, two of the strongest Dishonor clans in the format. It's, yeah, like a lot of cr Crab personalities have like one or zero glory. Yep. <laughs> Yeah, you're, you're, you don't mind so much when you get shameful displayed as you're as a crab player. But uh, man, I gotta say, with the we were talking earlier about the uh, the new cards that came out in in the latest pack, like they're just you know the Hita, Stanchito. Oh, Stanchito. Yeah. I just found out yeah. that if you defend with Stanchita in the defend the wall, you can trigger it twice. Because there's two oh, yeah, separate. Yeah, 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 one one trigger from the <laughs> crazy. Or does it work if you have two staunch cheetahs in the same? No, because you can only do uh, the staunch cheetah herself says limit one uh, per conflict. Thank God. Yeah. Okay. Can you imagine? It's like it's like your phoenix cha uh, your phoenix champion. You just get yeah. to trigger multiple rings. So it looks like uh, <coughs> Eugene ended up being the first player, uh, which means Owen, of course, gets an extra fate. Now, always a good thing for do uh, I guess crab. not knowing the deck list, I don't know what kind of deck Eugene's playing, but I saw a uh, very interesting Scorpion deck earlier. It's like a bunch of like small characters, whatever, or big guys, but it plays everything from your conflict deck. Oh, it's like an, it's basically a ninja deck, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Uh, like. <coughs> Uh, yeah, so like a bunch of political rivals, unassuming Yajimbos. It's yep. actually cool. I mean, uh, also it's Crane. It's a Crane uh, Scorpion deck. <laughs> With like a mid defeat, because then like. Yeah, it lets you pass early yeah. every turn. Yeah. Uh, get that extra fate, and then, you know, character from the conflict deck, the same thing as a conflict character from the. I don't Dynasty think Call. Eugene's is like that. I mean, I saw a couple cards that uh, might insinuate that it not is, but. Looks like Owen well, One of the most popular uh, splashes with with Scorpion, as well as every other clan, I guess, is yeah. the Dragon. You know, yeah, dra yeah, yeah, yeah. Scorpion tends to be fairly uh, defensive, and <coughs> Miramoto's Fury, Let Go, great for that. Of course, uh, Scorpion also has access to calling in favors. Uh, a lot of attachment to hate available to them if they want it. Yeah. Oh. So, Sushiro Miyako, Blackmail Artist, Bayushi Liar, Imperial if, Storehouse. If Eugene's deck is the actual, like, cards coming from hand, Miyako is actually pretty nice. Yeah. But, uh, oh, look at this from Owen, though. Immediately gets a Funeral Pyre. <coughs> no uh, attractive targets for it so far in his Dynasty flop, but I do know, uh, based from playing uh, against Owen a couple of times during our casual nights, I do know that he does run a lot of conflict characters himself. Yeah, like, probably what, like... Uh, Stoic Gunzo, Kuruma Ambushers, depending on what splash he is, probably, uh, I mean, myself, when I play Crab, I play Unicorn, so maybe some Yuuchi Wayfinders. Right. Who knows? <clears throat> and I, if, if this is indeed the same type of deck as he had earlier in the week, uh, Owen will be splashing Dragon for Let Go and Miramoto Fury. So first play is Stanchito with one fate on it. No, no, no. Intimidating. Sorry, hit. intimidating. Hit. One of the heaters. The, uh, the older one. Whoa. So so Shiro Miyako. Uh, so you know, now you were, you were talking about you were talking about a dragon deck being sorry a scorpion deck having a lot of conflict characters. Well, I mean this might be it. Because yeah, I mean, like, Miyako uh, does want um, conflict cl characters to be played from hand. I think, mean, but then no, that, that I guess that's why Eugene played the uh, Bioshi Liar first because right. uh, he doesn't want to get like way of the crowd. Mm -hmm. But yeah. yeah, I think it is. And Owen passed early. Now I know Owen likes doing this a lot. He actually no, he. I mean, like there is no other motive for him to continue, right? Yeah, like, even the Vanguard Warrior, like. 
you really you might want to do that later in case you yeah. see hit a casada so you're gonna like charge it in mm -hmm. so maybe like four or five yeah uh, Owen I'll bidding bidding four to five yeah oh bidding high is almost always a oh, safe it is. call against Scorpion it is that type of deck but yeah. I saw an unassuming with Jimbo but Eugene having only th two fame it's actually not bad well, that's why you put that extra fade on Miyako, right? He's probably oh, so it is Dragon extra. and... Uh, it is oh, Dragon. Oh, yeah. I see a sick setup he might do. Tattooed Wanderer on uh, Intimidating Hito. Yeah, that could work. He also has a Watch Commander. I see an Assassinate. Not, no appealing targets right now. I see a Good Omen. That's also uh, something I know that Owen plays. He does have access to it because he did bid lower than uh, Eugene at this turn. And there's a bonsai from the Imperial Storehouse. So I think he's, he's got the tools to push through a province break on turn one. And a way of the crab. Unfortunately, he can't really take advantage of it just yet. His dynasty flop wasn't really cooperating with it. But the combination of assassinate and way of the crab can uh, can reach out and touch a... That's really a nice to see... Uh, oh no. So Eugene does have a character he can play from hand. I believe it's a meek informant. Yeah, that's one of the new cards from the... Uh, you just get to look at their hand, right? And it is a Shinobi, too, for uh, if that matters to anything. So, yeah, Meek Informant. Let me see your hand. And Sushiro so Miyako also Dishonor triggers. or Bow? Yeah, but I think the opponent gets to choose. No, it's a Dishonor or a discard a card from your hand. A random. At random, yeah. So, what do you... Um, do you get to trigger however it goes? What do you mean? So, like, in Boink of Form, it says I get to see your hand. Then the card discard happens, or do you get to pick however you do? If they're both triggered off coming into play, I would I would imagine that they... You, you can, can pick however, how yeah. Them. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, and it looks like that's what he's doing. Because he wants to see the hand first and then see what card he discards? Yeah. But I guess the end result is going to be the same if, he cho if Owen chooses to discard a card right now. Yeah, but then you're also, you know, it's for those who play magic. Yeah, for those who play magic, like Cabal therapy your opponent, even if you miss, or thoughts in your opponent. Yeah. Now you you know exactly what your opponent can do, and whether they can push through a province break or if it's safe to to push through maybe a political conflict of your own. I really like uh, I really like that card. So then you know like what to watch out for, and so when I first started playing L five R, like the old version. <laughs> Uh, the reason I wanted to play Scorpion because I like playing ninjas. I mean, I'm like a kid of the late. I'm a kid of the late '80s, so like I was all about ninjas back then. Um, but uh, yeah, I think so, with the two cards that came out in the Tears Pack, with the one that moved, yeah. returns Shinobis yeah. to, I think it's not. Oh, to your Smoke hand. and Mirrors, right? Smoke and Mirrors, yeah. Back home, back home, back home. It's so it's not quite a, like I don't think that card is there quite yet. But yeah, that meek informant, uh, it's a really good so, tune to So, I mean, Scorpio. it's unfortunate that Eugene is going to lose a Bayushi Liar during Fate Phase, so that Owen can do a Way of the Crab to get rid of Miyako. Do you think that's a fair trade, uh, trading the... I think so, if it's this yeah. type of deck where it keeps pushing cards out of hand and it disrupting them. Yeah. I, I don't know, what do you think? I feel like uh, Owen can Ooh. just wait until okay. the next turn, because he's going to get first player, which means... He can play something All else right, or, because he don't, or wave no, the crowd uh, first next turn, yeah. No, but then wouldn't you want to... Oh, okay. All right. That makes sense. It, it depends. Uh, did you see a uh, Did you see a character in Owen's hand? He didn't have like a Haruma Ambusher or something. No, like no, no. He's going to have to sack the Intimidating hit if he wants right. to do it. Because I learned that you can't just wave the crap any character. No, you need a crap character. Yeah. Yeah. Makes sense. I mean, like, it's a crap card, right? Makes no sense as to how a non crab character can do the same thing. So we're still on pre conflict actions? I believe so. I think Eugene may be deciding uh, yeah, who to send in for a political <coughs> conflict. I think both, right? Uh, no. Yeah, I feel like you should. What is it? So it's going to no. be a political void conflict against the Funeral Pyre. Yep, you want to take out that card advantage very quickly. Shameful Display. Now, Shameful Display, I do believe both of Eugene's characters have zero glory. That's correct. So it's not going to hit them. It's going to buff the Intimidating Hita by one. 
However, but, this being a political conflict, that's still going to put uh, Eugene ahead in skill, although not able to break right away. Um, it would break, no? That's only if uh, it's only if Owen didn't commit. But now that shameful display has been revealed, I think you just go and block with uh, intimidating Hida to open yourself up to a military attack later. Well, what are you going to do? You're just not going to attack this turn? I guess not. But that's the thing. You either let this one go and have the province break now, or you contest it. And he goes with playing out the Tattooed Wanderer. I mean, it's unfortunate that no one's going to run into an assassinate. Yeah, if, if Eugene wants to play it. I mean, he's still breaking the province Yes, here. he yeah. is. Yeah. The motive of this is just to get a glor uh, honored thing on his own character rather than putting it on oh yeah. Eugene's yeah but the tattooed wanderer also has zero glory yes yeah, yeah. So, so the numbers aren't going to change yeah. he just wants to get something out of it before it dies yeah. all right <laughs> now crab uh you know has access to dishonor pressure so these these little honor swings they do add up Here we go, assassinate on the Bayushi Liar. Owen loses three honor, but Eugene wow. loses one I mean, himself. good thing that Owen had the uh, idea of uh, mm -hmm. killing the, or dishonoring the courtier instead, because yeah. for G-Day, there's no more courtiers anymore. Yeah, you can't do like four shames or what sure, have you. Yeah. Character oh, yeah, you matter. can defend because of the stronghold ability. Yeah, stronghold pumps it up by one, so now Owen's winning this conflict. Yeah, this is why Owen likes passing early. He just his his conflict deck is just full of uh, characters and tricks. I like it. I like it a lot. Oh, so if it is if it is drop uh, if it is that type of covert deck, it must be Crane. Crane is a splash yeah. for steward of law and political rival. No, right? just political rivals and I think admit defeats. That's true, yeah. I mean, influence on political rivals, too. So, does the Drop Bears deck also run a bunch of holdings in its dynasty because it doesn't really care? I think so, yeah. It runs like, storehouses. I think it runs. Uh, favorable Ground, City of Lies. That's favorable Ground, yes. Yeah. I don't think City of Lies. City of Lies is an awkward card. Because <clears throat> if, if a bunch of your conflict cards cost zero, a bunch of your events cost zero. You have to sequence very, oh. very carefully. Yeah, for and sure. And that could end up telegraphing what you want to play. Wait, what just uh, happened? You uh, oh, so, so you won and exacted to draw. Yeah, okay. Did he gain an honor for that? Uh, I believe so. Sorry, I looked away for a sec. Oh, you must have, because yeah. he was at 10. No, 11, 10, 7, then yeah. 8. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Man, math is hard. So, military what? Fire? Fire military with the heat up. Oh, <laughs> no. Why, why is it always shameful display? Is the first one that's revealed. <laughs> it's a one in four, but it's uh, it's 25% of the time, 100% yeah. of the time. So I wonder if Eugene will remember to gain a fate off of this. Off his uh, seeker. Um... Yeah. Because I think he was at three, four, five, six. Yeah. I mean... Like, do we tell them? I guess not, right? I think we set a precedent with the first game that we're not going to tell them. But if their opponent points it out... Uh, well, because, like, is there a timing window where it's like, oh, wait, I forgot after a turn is gone or reveals another... So FFG's rules, they have a thing called Miss Opportunities. If it's in a timely... It's caught in a timely fashion, uh, if your opponent consents to you retroactively using the ability, you can. Okay. Uh, at the start of the tournament, I mentioned that, you know, this... This is not, it's like a pseudo tournament, and it's more about, yeah, it's more about, you know, making sure that you're playing the best oh, version sure. of your opponent yeah. and everything, so. But as I was saying earlier, I mean, the amount of times I've actually remembered myself to take a fate, yeah. I can probably count them on the fingers of one hand. I'm so sorry. Long day. <laughs> Yesterday. Okay. I think you defend, right? Oh no, but then you lose an honor for now declaring a conflict. Yeah. So 
that's three three skills so far for Owen. Wait, four, right? Is in is in Tony Hina? Hina, Tony okay. Hina's four, I think. Oops. Yeah, I don't I don't know if he's defending. <laughs> So it looks like, yeah, it's going to be undefended. The province is indeed broken. Eugene loses an honor. Oh, he did gain a fade. Looks like he did provide it. Yeah, because he's using the special scorpion uh, counters for fade. What? So he was, uh, the uh, the fade he's using are basically buttons that have scorpion symbol on them. So it's I not see. as easy, uh, easily wait, 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 wait. So what happened? So he wait, was so is it broken? Ring. Uh, he should have, yeah. All right, I was going to change the uh, Borsay real quick. So, goes after Earth? Yeah. I guess so. That makes I don't want to lose this uh, province early, but I guess you can't really do anything about that anymore. A lot of events going on today. Eh? Yeah, there's some kind of Dragon Ball tournament happening today too. It's like a huge like line of 50 people or so. Yeah, that's, a, that's a few. It's a pre-conflict action? Or no, he's gone into attacking. Yeah. So it's three to... well, it breaks. Yeah. I mean, I guess it's... I think uh, that trade was worth it. I think so too. Yeah. Get that, you get that funeral pyre off the board. Of course, he used it already, but man, getting a funeral pyre off the board at the same time as a shameful display, that's yeah. pretty nice. In the turn, court mask still in play. Now, what do you think? Do you think... You think way of the crab? Would you way of the crab here? I think so. You get rid of the court mask and the, the ninja yeah. at the same time? But you want to see what the flop is first. That's correct, yeah. From from your opponent. Correct you, me if you I'm wrong. He has a bunch of money. Correct me if I'm wrong. Can you play a conflict character during Dynasty Days? You piece? can, yes. Okay. <clears throat> So no one claims Imperial Favor? No, it looks like Owen has it. How? Unless that's just sitting there. So you grab Fire. Oh, he won Void, remember? Yeah, from defending it. Yes. Oh, Shouju. Do you bother with Shouju? No, against Crab, I don't think so. Caillou Envoy, oh, two Caillou Envoys even. Uh, Eugene playing it smart. <clears throat> this is actually pretty good for uh, yeah. Owen right here. Vanguard he can keep Warrior. the Intimidating Heat up for a while, and then uh, he can like send the Vanguard Warriors to do a fight and then pop them off after they're used, right? Now, do you think it's too much of the Telegraph if you put one fate on a Caillou Envoy? I think it's a big Telegraph. Yeah. Huge Telegraph? Okay. He, but Eugene already knows that he has. Uh, oh, because of the shinobi. Yeah. Because of the shinobi, yeah. So I mean, like, cat's out of the bag. But <laughs> do you pass here just to deny the fate? What as Owen? As Owen. Well, Owen. Owen does like passing early. Uh, I'm not sure how much. I it, would pass. Yeah, like I the, would pass. the second Vanguard warrior is not doing much. Yeah, uh, you already have a Vanguard warrior to yeah. keep a guy around. If you bid low, you're good Omen triggers too. Caillou Envoy is just as good yeah. next turn as is this turn. Yeah. As a fellow yeah, crab, Owen I love really it. Likes, Owen really likes grabbing as much money as he can. I, I really, I really like watching <clears throat> Owen play crab. He's, uh, he's really frustrating to play against. Oh yeah. He, he, oh yeah. He always passes a turn sooner than you think he will, but. <laughs> 
Yeah. Oh, and then you're just like, I need that money. Nope. You don't get it. And it's like, God damn it. So this time Eugene bid low, uh, and Owen bid high. So that actually turns off the good omen. Owen, sorry, the good omen in Owen's hand. <laughs> good omen in Owen's hand. Yeah. The good Owen. Uh, pre-conflict action. See Miramoto Suri. See a stoic Gunso. Uh, yeah, we're 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 gonna fall. go to the yeah. gym. <laughs> As some people call it big gun, big gun. So, so uh, Eugene, Eugene actually has quite a bit of cards. I see uh, a lot of for shames. He can play the unassuming Yajimbo. Uh, being second player, he can actually try to like, sneak by uh, by one standing defender if he wants to. It looks like uh, Owen's just going to provoke. Eugene with a single uh, Caillou Envoy military attack. Oh, Secret baby. Cache, the, uh, next to Shameful Display, the province you want to see the most. And let's see if Eugene remembers to take a fate for this no, one. No, it's air. Oh, air, right, right. Because there was air before uh, before Winter Court, right. See, it was when I finally started remembering taking air, uh, yes. fate for the air thing, then they switched the roles, yes. and now i got to remember again. <coughs> Do you got Wave the Scorpion here? But you don't have, like, a swim. You can't wave the scorpion because you bid lower than uh, your opponent this time. No, you mean I can swim. So, yeah, I can swim. Yeah. Right, but do you prep for it later, hoping to get that later? Or do you just go with whatever the best card is at the time? I Which you, I feel like is what maybe 4G dig, but... Well, well, if you wanted to I can swim later, like, what are you going to I can? You, what are you going to wave the scorpion? Intimidating Hita? Things are going to die anyway. Yeah. No, I, you're right. Yeah. You're right. Now, I would imagine Owen's gonna try to get the opportunity to play the Stoic Gunso and sack the Envoy to do the big if, uh, if, it, ha if it gets so, to that point. Did we figure out who was defending? No, no, no. He's doing the reaction first. Uh, the reaction of the yeah of the strong or not the stronghold, the province. Yeah. Well, it's military of <laughs> one. Still deciding, eh? He yeah, took he, away the scorpion. Yeah, there, yeah. I mean, what's your what's the rule on slow play? It's just like the rule of any other thing. I don't think that's necessarily slow play because he. It seems like he's been fairly fast with all his other actions. Uh, no, no, I didn't mean of this particular instance. But like, is it past two minutes? So, I mean, as my experience as a TO, it's just basically up to the, the TO to Wait, get a feel. How did, the, how did the Shouju lo or Miyako lose the Dishonor? No clue. Is it hi it, isn't it hiding under between the court mask and the... Oh, it itself? is. Yeah. I don't know. That kind of matters. In terms of numbers wise. So he starts off with Way of the Scorpion on Caillou and Boy. So that brings him to zero skill. Yeah, zero, zero to... Zero versus three, four, five? No. On Eugene's side? No, oh, sorry, well, if, if he is dishonor... Is four, so it's four. Yeah, there you go. Oh, here, here it comes. Here it comes. Oh, Mr. Big Boy himself. Doing reps. <laughs> <laughs> He's like deadlifting the Kaiwen boy. <laughs> <laughs> Give me your body! I must lift it! <laughs> he does have access to... Yeah, I feel like that wave of the scorpion on the Caillou Envoy was a bit pre uh, premature. Like, you were, you were already winning the conflict. You didn't really have to do anything. But, uh... Yeah, I, I don't know. It's going to put him at five skill versus uh, so Eugene's four. So he gain, should have gained a fade in a card? Yep, he's going to get that right now. Damn. Man, it feels so good. Oh. So for shame. 
So either bow or dishonor it. <sighs> I mean, it's, it looks like it's gonna bow. It's gonna be a bow or a dishonor for me, though. Yep, I'm going to four. I mean, you're still still winning. Pass. And then lose. And then you're probably gonna lose the thing at least your guy gets bowed from. What? No. He puts the katana. Now, that, he. I would have passed. I would have passed too because this is not breaking. Because he's gonna now. He's yeah. gonna. Yeah. He was setting you up. Okay. You get, you get good. Yeah. Bye. But fortunately, uh, Owen's not playing lion, so he doesn't have access to uh, ready for battle. But it's good to see that uh, Owen drew uh, Miramo's fury, so that's helpful. Ish. Yep. Those two mountain does not fall, not really doing anything in this scenario. What so is? Yeah, uh, the two mountain does not fall. It's not. It's not helping him. Yeah. So I guess yeah, it's just gonna be. Yeah, it looks like you have it. So no, uh, no ring claim because it looks like Eugene fended this off successfully. Unless uh, Eugene's thinking of doing something else now. Oh, assassinate. Nice. Yeah, that's the one thing you have to be uh, worried about when you, with the Vanguard Warrior, sometimes yeah. it's better to just, like, throw it on there. Of course, it was untapped, so, like, you know, if you wanted to use it in a... In a, in a in oh, a you defended with the manipulator instead of the... Uh... Ah, okay. So we don't have a table microphone, so it's actually hard to figure out what's, uh, what's Whoa, exactly being said here. Whoa, dragon? Instead of crane? So this might be a different version of that drop bear deck. Instead of political rival, it's running her. Because then you also get access to Tattooed Wanderer for the Covert. Yeah. That's not bad. No, it's pretty good. Um, all right, so, so, what is the word text on the mountain does not fall? Uh, so a uh, choose a participating character does not bow as a result of resolving uh, a conflict as a defender. But does it have a max? No. Like, you can defend twice, and they bo both won't, uh, won't bow at the okay. end of both of them. Yeah. So is this just a Sashiro actress? I believe so, yeah. Because yeah. Eugene wants to do two conflicts. Yeah. So it's three versus three, because uh, Owen has a political favor. On Manicured Garden. It's not good considering that Owen doesn't have really a lot of cards he wants to uh, buy at the moment. It starts with the court games. Honors puts him up to four. <clears throat> there is a court mask in Eugene's hand, so he can use it if he wants. Bonsai, you just, not much help. You just sack the guy after, right? Like, you don't need to do it, like... You're talking about the Sashiro actress? Yeah. Yeah. You can... But you do it during a conflict. Right. Right? So you can... You can use so You can boost the, with Core Mask. Then after it wins the conflict, you just send it home. Yeah. Return the mask back to hand, and then... Yep. Uh, yeah. And then sacrifice the actress. Yeah. Seems okay. I mean, Region doesn't have anything else to do right now. Yeah, that's what he's probably going to do then. So now he's at five skill. In this political air conflict, uh, Owen only at five honor, so putting a lot of pressure huh, on him. Interesting. Here. I, thought, I thought Owen had a let go in his hand, but he must have lost it? No, I think you're confusing the good omen with let go. Oh, okay. Miramoto's Fury. Oh, and a forged edict. Nice. So yeah, dishonors. Uh, no, the manipulator, right? Wait, is it a courtier? It's a courtier. Yeah. Oh, okay. The the uh, actress is a courtier. Yeah. Oh, cool. Yeah, I would have I would have dishonored the manipulator. I think that was just a misplay on his part. Yeah, so, cousin, doesn't the shoju or the illusionist or actress lose a stat as well? Yeah. Because of that, yeah. Minus one. And yeah. then Owen goes up to five because he uses a stronghold. Yes. So now Owen's winning. So I think that was just a yeah, that was just a misplay on his part. 
Well, now I don't, I don't know if you can do that because apparently you can. You can, you can dishonor an already dishonored character to return court mask. Yeah, because apparently it's a separate lines of text or something. Now it's not a cost thing. Dishonor this character to return it. I mean, we can look it up, but. Yeah. It's, it's not a cost, it's an effect. You return it and then dishonor it. So it's back up to five? No. Six. Six now, yeah. <coughs> Six to five? Has he gained the fate yet? I forget. Uh, off what? Thank you, Gordon. I don't know. I, at this I point, know. who knows? Yeah. <laughs> it's Owen has so much money. Uh, you know, has been keeping up though with the uh, with the cash production. It's actually quite impressive. Uh, I think the most fade I've ever had once was uh, twenty three. Wow. Yeah. Well, how'd you get that? So I had a Yokuni out with two fade yeah. from before. Then I revealed a Yokuni and a. Uh, a Niten Adept, I think. Yeah. So I bought, I like bought the Niten Adept with one, then I duped Yukuni past, and I had like three Daimyo's favor, so everything costs free. <laughs> and it was like, and then my flip was like three Keeper Initiates uh, and a Secluded Temple. So I'm like, okay, I can't buy anything, so I'm gonna pass. Hey, how excited are you to play that new uh, Phoenix attachment in Dragon? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, how much fate did I put on it? Alright, I'm gonna put it back on my guy. <laughs> or back on my pool. The fake vacuum. Whoop, whoop, whoop. So yeah, he, he returned both court masks there. Owen had to take a look at the card. <laughs> he had to figure out the same thing we did. That's you can so do that. Yeah, I, I, I didn't even they know that. They should have like routed that card. Ago. That doesn't make eh. any sense. Well, it, I feel like it, it's kind of like a, uh, like, you know, the honored, not the honored blade, but the guidance of the ancestors slash uh, ancestral attachments that Dragon has. It's like the same thing, you just keep replaying it. Except yeah, the obviously. rebuy mechanic in this case is you just have to have it dishonored. I mean, sometimes it works out for you, but... I guess so. Does Owen just pass conflict? You have to, right? You need to defend? So you could do another mountain that's not fall? Uh, yeah. But I think but it is you limited. Are, you I think it the, is limited. You are the uh, the first player, though, so you're not going to be able to declare the last conflict. Yeah. Max one per round. Okay, so it is limited. You can't do it multiple. No, no, no. You can only play one copy of the Mountain Does Not Fall per round, but the effect lasts until the end of the phase. Oh, wow. Yeah. So, so you can defend again, and then it doesn't get out? No. Exactly. Yeah. Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah. Which is why it's great when you're second player. You defend two conflicts, and then you send them in for the third. Right. And then you throw Spyglass on them, and you're like... <laughs> ka-ching, ka-ching. All right, so... Uh, great play here by Eugene. He drops his unassuming Yojimbo, coverts the intimidating Hida, and I think he brought both uh, Miyako and. Uh, I would. Hopefully to break the province? Yeah, uh, maybe. So that's going to be a skill of five, I think, to start with? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, yep, yeah, Vince, Mountain Does Last the Phase. It's just that the text says once per round, so you can only play one copy of the Mountain Does Not Fall per turn. He didn't use it, see? He forgot. Ah, uh, okay. All right, good guy, G Eugene. Oh. Yep, red, so, my... That was an un undefended attack? Yep, undefended. Oh, yep. okay. And so well, he couldn't. broke, yeah, broke the manicure garden, discards the vanguard. This is this has been a huge turn for Eugene, actually. Like, I didn't think he was doing that well after the first turn, but, jeez. Well, yeah. now all of his, everybody's characters are about to leave. So that's true, but um, I mean, and Owen does have a lot of money, so. Oh, and <laughs> and Eugene forgot to proc the uh, Sashiro Miyako's ability on the. 
Yeah. Oh, right. When, he, when the unassuming Yojimbo came well, into play. Oh, because he doesn't want to lose hand. an honor. Oh, he wants to gain an honor off of the Hida leaving, right? Yeah. Yep. This is this is actually some really good dishonor pressure, Eugene. So then, do you uh, bother popping the actress to grab a Caillou envoy so that you just gain a feed in a cart? Well, why not? Because you're going to be losing the. But you, the you, but it was already too late, right? Because you thought you can only do it during a conflict. Oh yeah, it would have to be during a conflict. So. Yeah, and Wait. now. What? He's Vanguard, and now he's using it, and. <laughs> What, it was during, I thought it was during Kong. Yeah, but I remember what we were saying oh, earlier about yeah. it being, yeah. Okay. I mean, that's fine. I mean, Eugene already forgot uh, his secret trigger. No, he got time. it, he got it. The shameful he gave display? It, he gave it to him. Yeah. Okay. He gave it to him. Yeah, I think, I think where this, when the stakes are low enough here, I think it's just much better to make sure your play, opponent is playing optimally. Yeah. Right? Um, you know, when you when you get to premier levels, then at that point you can say, well, you know, you're expected to be able to remember your triggers and all that. Oh, and sure. It's kind of unfair for your opponent to remember everything on your behalf, yep. and then also make a bunch of decisions, assuming you forgot that trigger, and yep. then you suddenly remember it. But uh, you I know, agree. for for an event like this, I think it's much more educational, uh, and it it's also better community building, right? You you show that other players in your meta are on your side, you know. I agree. I agree. So Justin assuming a Jimbo and Eugene's side. So I guess the covert is more important than the uh, ability, eh? What is sorry? Like covert's more important than the uh, ability to. Um, oh, for sure. Yeah, especially when uh, your opponent's board is cleared like this. Yep. Yeah. So there's one of those new Amaratsu cards, the uh, Staunch Hida. Oh, Totomatsu. And a Yojimbo. Hida Toma. I know she's been panned uh, by a lot of crab players as being too expensive for her effect. So we'll see what, uh, what Owen does with this, this character this round. Wait, was there? I thought there were more conflicts to Claire that... Uh, no, I, I think the last conflict because Eugene was the second player last round, so I think he got to declare the second conflict. I don't know. No, because Owen declared a military void. I'm pretty sure that. I think you're falling asleep, Sun Ho. No, man. <laughs> no, look, look. <laughs> so like, yeah. Isn't it? No, I'm trying to think. No, okay. So, Owen went first, declared a yeah. military void. Then his dude got assassinated. And then he claimed the ring, right? I think you're thinking of two turns ago. No, man. I'm pretty sure it was his turn. That was the turn when he yeah. had two Sanch Vanguard uh, Warriors, and then they both died. Because one got discarded from the... Uh, I don't know, I could be wrong. Anyway, moving on. What? So, what does she do? Tomatsu is like, when she when wins you defend, a conflict as a defender, you, you sack it to put a character that your opponent attacking with? Yeah, on top okay. Of so, yeah. Deck? Yeah. I'm pretty sure. I'm going to go fix it. Okay. But, uh, Owen, Owen playing all his characters now. He's not holding anything back. He kind of has to because he's, he's staring down the barrel of a covert guy. Which is, I guess it's really great for ensuring that your opponent plays as many characters from their dynasty uh, draw as possible. So thank you to Sungho for fixing that. I think maybe I'm the one that needs more sleep because I missed that myself. Dower Beals, again the low bid. Now we're in the, uh, the honor pressure phase of the game where... Eugene's gonna just try to choke uh, Owen on cards. Now Owen does have Caillou Envoy, so he does have access to a little bit of card draw. Uh, we'll see if he, he flops, he either gets a rebuild or flops another Funeral Pyre on the next turn.
So as Eugene, do you uh, you start with a military conflict? Don't you want to go? Or no, you start with a political. Political, conflict, right? Yeah. Don't you go political with your blackmail artist and Bayushi liar? Hair? Oh, sorry, hair. Forced losing to honor. I assume they both did one. Is that what it was? Yeah. Okay. Wow. That's uh, very unfortunate. Uh, look through the discard pile. What do you got? I wonder if he if he passed his conflict. No, it still looks like he's deciding. He just got so many cards in his hand. Like you just play the unassuming Yujimbo with one fate on it, so it goes to one, and then claim a ring that has a fate on it, and so you can play both your court games. It's pretty good. Yeah, here we go. Oh. I, so easy, as yeah. I thought. I mean, just choke him out, right? Like, yeah, I would do the same thing. Yeah, yeah, I like this. Yeah. I mean, I really hope it's not defend the wall, but... No, I think Owen saves defend oh. the wall for... Oh. Savage. Yeah, yeah, that is quite unfortunate. That was, that was pretty lucky for Owen. What? What do you mean you know? Don't you flip it? Don't you switch the side first before you commit your guys? Yeah, oh, that's okay. what he did. Because it's still stuck on he, he may have forgotten to uh, actually flip the token. Okay. He must have in publicly... He, he must have done it because, look, Eugene uh, bowed his guy. Yeah, there he goes. Yep. Oh, man. All right, well, now, now, actually, I mean, I can't believe it, but uh, <laughs> that uh, Hida Tomatsu actually might do something here. <laughs> well, I mean, Eugene actually has uh, the Yojimbo and Bounzai as well. So, like, even if he did change it, he could still kind of... Yeah. No, he, he's not attacking with the Yujimbo. He's attacking with Blackmail Artist now. No, I know, but he has a Yujimbo in his hand. Right? Oh, he does? Okay. If he wants to actually try to break it. Eh. Uh, you just let it go, right? You, don't, you, you go don't with get the, the cover. Well, it really depends because it, you you letting Owen win this conflict, it, it's because he's going to get the ring effect because he's got the Stanchita in play. And Tomatsu is going to probably put the Yujimbo back on top of Eugene's library. Is that what it does? I thought it, it picks anyone? I thought it was one that's in the... In the conflict? Yeah. Oh, you might be right. Uh, if that's the case, it's even worse than I thought. Tomonatsu. Uh, yeah, a non-unique... It has to be non-unique attack. I mean, that would be sick if it said anyone. You're just like, nope. You just pay three fee for that guy? We, we, we can just chill for later. Ooh, court, court mask? Yep. So that's putting him at seven. Seven, yeah. Because <laughs> he has a military favor, right? Yeah. Yeah. Wow, really paying honor for that? I'm sorry. Oh. That seems risky, no? Well, if you think you're gonna win the conflict and you're gonna resolve the air ring, then why not, right? Yeah. Yeah. No, that's not how that works, buddy. What is he looking at? He's looking at what uh, card he can put away. Oh, okay. What was he trying to put away? He was trying to put away the Yujimbo, as we uh, yeah, thought yeah. before. But All right. Good thing Eugene can read the cards. Wait, is it to the top or bottom? Is it shovel? No one. Okay. So it looks like. <laughs> <laughs> Owen uh, mistakenly told them to shuffle it instead of uh... oops <laughs> oops yeah no I, I fixed it so he's just gonna sh dig out the character shuffle his deck and put it back on top yeah. did he do that? They, yeah they just did Okay. but uh yeah yeah, maybe maybe Owen will take it out of the deck now. <laughs> I, like, 
That card would be sick if it was just yeah. any non-unique character. Really. It's questionable, but... So he's doing a military earth with the Caillou envoy. Pilgrimage, Ow. nice. Nice. Slowly remember the honor, or the fate. Is Pilgrimage a Void Province? Oh, must be. It is. Yeah. So what do you think they take out of water? Uh, take out of water for... Pilgrimage? Uh, Those water yes. is what? Elemental Fury and... Uh... And Rally the Cause. Yeah, that's usually the weakest one. Uh, and you like Meditations of the Tao, so... Yeah. Yeah. Oh, rebuild. Nice. Getting the Funeral Pyre back. <coughs> yeah, I agree, Vince. I think uh, Tomonatsu is a terrible... Uh, it's, uh, it's a shame, I wish though, it was because, good. I wish it was yeah, good. Yeah, as, as somebody from the... Uh, one of the uh, L5R podcasts, they uh, they said it's a shame that the card is so bad because the art is actually really good on her. So hopefully she It does look nice, though. Reused. It's like a brawler yeah. kind of thing. Mm-hmm. <laughs> ah, good old funeral pyre. Well, if my earth ring didn't work, I might as well use this way to get two cards and a fate. It's not bad. I mean... This feels so good when you're able to uh, funeral pyre a Caillou Envoy. So good. Wait, he drew two, right? He did draw two. Oh, yep. see? Okay. So, you, oh, this might be not bad. You can let go one of the... Uh, the core mask if, he ends, up, if yeah. he ends up playing it. Yeah. So this is another rebuild. Wow. What? Oh, is he, is he going to... <laughs> Is he gonna restack the? He's got another funeral pyre or a storehouse. Oh, interesting. Wow. Interesting. Well, he, he's. It, this is a bit of a desperation dig, I think. He's got no, he's got no good cards in his hand. Yeah. He might as well cycle it. Yeah, he just had a rebuild and a let go, right? And then one other yeah. card. Way of the crab, which has Way been stuck crab. in his hand forever. Which might be good this uh, this turn. Because once fate phase happens, everybody leaves, and then you just that, kill That's the... true, yeah, because Owen is going to be first player next round, and so he'll just weigh the crab, whatever Eugene plays. But Ooh, if Eugene's going to play yeah. smart, yeah, if Eugene plays smart, then he's going to he's going to play something small first. That really sucks. Yeah. I really hoped he uh, sent the Ujim, uh, Kuruma Yujimbo as a defender instead of the uh, Hida Toro Atsu. Yeah. So then he could declare a second conflict? Yep. Now he's going to not be able to commit a... Because uh, he's now about to lose two honor. Yeah. So he's going to dishonor someone and then... Uh, so fire... Oh no, he has a uh, Miramos Fury that can yep. kind of help him. So he coverts the uh, Yujimbo. This is four, I think? Yep. Okay. So broken, he lost an honor there. Uh, the stronghold is now open for Eugene to attack. Man, I'm I'm I've been really impressed by uh, the way Eugene's been playing. I mean, he he had he did miss a couple of uh, secret triggers, but doesn't no, seem to he have did. He didn't so end up doing it at the end. Oh, he did. Okay. Yeah, his opponent did end up giving it to him after. Uh, All right. uh, yeah, I I just want to also say that. Uh, I'm really impressed by the the level of grace that both players are giving each other. You know, it's always it's always better to uh, to help your opponent out, especially when everybody's new to the game, and you engender some goodwill that way as well. Oh man, what? No, that shouldn't be two. The void shouldn't be two. No, both. Here, I'll do it. I'll deal with it. I'll deal with it. Yeah, usually, usually it's better when one player ends up putting, dealing with all the, uh, the upkeep effects. 
because then otherwise you get into situations where both players are putting fate on the same ring. So danger every time I walk around this side, <laughs> so I don't knock the cord out. Oh, so now did he uh, flip? Nope. nope oh, we're not still yet. Still doing the uh, end of turn. Another oh, oh my god. god! This is and not. And Yogo. Oh my god. Hey, Casada. We'll take it. We'll take a Casada. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and isn't Owen the first player? He is. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. I think they're figuring it out just now. What? Wait, no? <laughs> no, stop, stop. Sorry. Oh, jeez. That would have been real bad. <laughs> what? Well, maybe I dashed Owen's uh, hopes there, <laughs> but I think if he does the same thing, oh yeah, here it comes. No, oh, it no, doesn't. No, it doesn't. Doesn't he have four G in it? Does oh, he? Oh, he doesn't. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh no. Oh <laughs> man. <laughs> man. That would have been so sick. Pizzotta, you, right? you remembered at the last minute. Uh, yeah. Oh wow. No, he's maybe he's just trying to go wide. You, you know what though? Like the Casada. If your opponent's playing just a bunch of like a drop bear deck, then is Casada really that good? It helps with like Rune. You don't want to lose. I guess so with the harpoon effect. Yeah, I don't want to lose a freaking dishonor because of that ability, stupid ability. Well, I think he he still he still has a chance to play Casada here. I guess so. Because if Eugene's going to play Harui, he's probably going to spend another turn to put a fate on it. I think so. So uh, if you want to play Casada and then have the opportunity still to pass and gain a fate, yeah, you still like, have the opportunity. At this point, uh, no fate. Makes sense. Yep. Why bother? Because you just have a Karuna that can do it for you. Oh, or let's see if... One. Let's see if he's gonna go all in with this the fate here, and if he does go all in, like maybe I just no, just one, yeah. Cause he still did he lose good omen? Uh yeah. From what? Uh, it was like a random discard from the Earth Ring. Oh. Yeah. So he did lose it. Either that or a Miyako trigger like a long time ago. Makes sense. Now does Eugene pass here? No, right? Like, yeah. That would have been so unfortunate if yeah, if you played in a row first. Run it first. It's like that clan champ, Phoenix clan champion all over again. Oh yeah, <laughs> Caillou envoy, and then. <laughs> what? That was uh, something that happened at Worlds. Well, yeah. Right? yeah, that's crazy. Oh jeez. Oh, that's not not bad. Fourteen today. When did we had about uh? We, we were peaking about, at twenty. But generally, our viewership gets higher uh, after the fact uh, when we put the stuff on YouTube. Right. Yeah, so we're going to put all these videos What do you up think? 1-1? One, one? Or no, I one, think Eugene one. might go 2. Because you can just get the honor right back. If he needs to. Yeah, but, uh, I mean, going 1 means that Owen can't play Assassinate. What? Oh, I see what you mean, though. Like, you just grab it back with the yeah. City of Open Hand? Yeah. 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 That's what I like about Scorpion. You can always go one above because you're like, whatever. Yeah, like when you play Scorpion, actually, like, I think one of the most important skills to learn, it's kind of like learning how to side game in Netrunner. You got to learn how to bid properly with your dial. Because, like, you, you saw it earlier this game, right? When yeah, you did exactly what you thought. It was like a super easy, easy call. But, oh, yeah. Um, you know, when you 
Like, a lot of players on turn one, when they're playing against a Scorpion deck, are going to assume that you're going to bid five, so they bid five, too. Yeah. And, it, like, you gotta, you can use that to your advantage by just, like, screwing over an opponent by for just sure, bidding one. For sure, for sure, yeah. yeah. So you just go, like, Casada, Solo, Military, uh -huh. right? Like, on Pilgrimage or something? Yeah. I would grab Earth I might be so bad. Uh water might be interesting. Then it forces the blackmail artist to go into the, the conflict. Military, huh? Or fire, huh? Yeah, but I think at this point he's just trying maybe he's trying to rehonor his uh his staunch yeah. So he doesn't lose the honor. But yep. then why don't you just go for air then? Does that give you more honor? Because you're, yeah. you're netting one compared to zero. Unless if I'm like my map is one. Yeah, but also, mm, you could have also went for Earth to, uh, to trigger some... Or do you like think that Owen might be deciding to dishonoring the Hirune instead? So he can't forge Edict? Oh, <laughs> well, but then Black Belt Artist is also a courtier. So it doesn't matter. Right? No? Yeah, I'm not sure. Now, is uh, is Eugene has Eugene decided to defend yet? I don't think it's. I don't think that's. Uh, I think he's still deciding. Yeah. Now, do you then, as Eugene, do you send in Huruni harpoon a character just so that you don't have to deal with it on the defense? Yeah, always. If you if you're gonna lose that conflict anyway. Then you always harpoon. Wait, what? What's going on? It looks like he defended with those two guys, maybe. Yeah. It looks like he didn't defend. Did he lose an honor? Yeah, it doesn't look like he defended at all. Okay, I'm gonna go give him the honor loss because. Oh, no, he took it. Did it for us. <clears throat> So weird. Lion Dex playing Mia Mystic? Lion Dex playing what? Lion playing Mia Mystic? That's weird. Maybe you're playing Cloud of Mine. <laughs> I think the Lion's Pride Baller has the weirdest Fushi Courier. Like, what the heck were they thinking? Yo, the new one that got spoiled, that's another Bushi Courtier. Which one is that? The five cost. Have you seen the the spoilers for the next pack? Are you talking about the characters that like you toss in Peril Favor ability? There is another Lion Clan uh, like elite guy, a five cost. He's a Bushi Courtier. Three military for uh, political. political. This is what he does. As an action, you uh, what is it? You flip up all your face down provinces, then you take two characters and put them into the conflict. I'm pretty sure that's the... It's like, a, it's like a mega charge. No, I'm pretty sure that... I think you have to discard in pro favor for that. I, I think I know what character you're talking about. Maybe. Yeah. Can you imagine that could be insane? If it was just like, whatever. Five, three, four? I mean, it is cost a lot. Yeah. So, what's going to happen? Stronghold? Oh, defend the wall. Oh my Don't god. Oh, void. Right. Oh, the, you know what? This is so sketchy because <laughs> what doesn't Eugene does Eugene have a Yojimbo in his hand? Yes, he does. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh yep, can't do that. Can't defend. Oh, <laughs> but I wanna. Well, I mean, it makes no sense to defend with her anyway, uh, from a ring standpoint because you won't be able to claim twice. Yeah. Okay, so this is three, four, seven, eight. What do you think? Do you let this go? You have to, right? Who has a favor right now? Owen does. Political favor. Six to eight. <clears throat> Court games, yeah. Okay, minus two for Eugene. 
is pretty good because uh, Owen hasn't lost a conflict yet. Yeah. What? Cause, oh, yeah, because he gets yeah. a pick. Yep. So, five? Oh, yeah, five. My bad. My bad. All right. So, you can do Bonsai even if there is no... Even like if it's... Cancel? Yeah, you, you can... You can do Bonsai you even do if that? it's not a... Oh, maybe. If you want to play You have other. to remember, though. A, it, is it a triggered ability? Any triggered ability? Hida Kasada? Any, uh... No. I think it's, uh... First action ability. So, uh, playing attachments, playing characters. That's all good. That counts? No, it doesn't count. Oh, oh yeah. okay, okay, okay. Savage. Ha! Let that go! Uh, nope. 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 That's gotta be enough for me, dog. Yeah, Owen only do only has two cards in his hand, though. Uh, he does have the mountain does not fall. So he can use that on, like, uh, Yojimbo. <clears throat> uh, Way of the Crab is also probably going to be a thing, uh, if, we, if Owen ends like up survives the turn. I'll tell you. So... Uh, yeah, I guess that's true. Oh my. Yes. Yeah, I thought they were, a, they were a cycle of them, right? Like, there's a crab one, there's yeah. a... Or no. Yeah. The mountain does not fall on the Borderlands Defender. Makes sense. Yep. It is the strongest one and the uh, only one that can actually attack because Yujimbo can't really attack. Wow, look at all that fate that he had, eh? It's all gone. Well, you had to you had to spend it all to not lose this turn. Yeah. I mean, I like that Owen still has the option to go, uh, what do you call it? Because he did a... Uh, I think Eugene's trying to decide if he wants to play a fan here. Just I think to, he might uh, be deciding to try to tattoo Kazue so that he could steal a fate. Uh, but do you really want to do, do that? That doesn't really do much because it doesn't buff no. your. You, you want to win, right? You don't want to. You don't want to take one fate. You don't want to trade three fate for one. Yep. Yeah. You're right. You're right. Like You're you right. could just play Kazue as a character. Yep. Into the conflict. Oh, so wins. So yeah, uh, because uh, Defend the Wall was the province, he gets to resolve the Void Ring effect as though he had claimed the ring. Or sorry, as though he were yep. the attacker. So he removes that one fate from Yogo Haru. Did he just jam cards in his hand together with his... What's that? I feel like he put both the cards in his hand yeah. and the mixed it in together, but... So he was, he attacked secret uh, secret cash, but when Eugene grabbed it, he mixed the he looked like he put the cards together. Does he have the correct amount of cards in his hand? I mean, it makes sense. Yeah. Oh, I love it. <laughs> oh, you got one of those cards. I see. He, he knows he has it. Yeah. So you th okay. okay. 
that would just pass, right? Like, you're still winning. Yeah. <clears throat> so this is four to one for, uh, sorry, four to, yeah, one, Yeah, right? four to one. Yep. Would you not? Oh, yeah. There's no point stealing on her because you just take it back. Yeah. Oh boy. Four minutes left. Um, I think at this point. Oh, he might win actually. Eugene has uh, two, he can four, six. Yeah. Oh man. But he needs, uh, what does he need? He needs seven strength. To I think he has enough. The province. Yeah. So he drops in. Uh, so he bonsai's, yeah. He goes up to seven. And that's the what? game. Wow. All right, so uh, just as an addendum to the end of that game, uh, we went over there and talked to the players. Uh, they did miss the Casada trigger. But at that point, the game was over. Both players missed it. And Eugene says he had a lot of other ways to win. And he already saw Owen's hand. The only thing that Owen had in his hand was the way of the crab, which wasn't going to do anything in that situation. So uh, we're going to keep it as a victory for Eugene. And that's going to be the conclusion of the second.